Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to go over the basic version of Traffic Control Time. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have over 200 free math games to play, and there's never any sign-up or membership required. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. Now, when you first start this screen, you'll see, if you click the Play button, that'll take you to the game, and we're going to do that in just a minute. This video tutorial will take you to this video you're watching now, and the How to Play button, which I just clicked, will show you the written instructions. Let's go ahead and click the main menu and go ahead and take a look at the game. Now you have the option of choosing the hours mode, which has normal scoring, or minutes mode, which has two times scoring. And uh, that's because the minutes mode is a little bit more difficult because the clocks are not necessarily on the hour, whereas hour modes, the clocks are always on the hour. Let's take a quick look at it, although we are going to review the hours mode versus the uh, minute mode, but I'll give you a, a chance to see what it looks like. And now you can see that the, the time is not on the hour. This is 25 minutes after the hour, 30, 30, and 20 minutes after the hour. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, now that you've seen that, we'll go ahead and look at the hours mode. Go ahead and click play, and this is the, the uh, one we're going to view. Now you notice here all the clocks are on the hour. And I should say the, the well, all the clocks are on the hour, but also the questions are on the hour, too. So, the way you control the traffic lights is by answering the questions that uh, on the uh, in the boxes that correspond to each light. And as you answer a question, it will turn the light uh, from red to green, and if it's green, it'll turn it red. And let me go ahead and show you that works. It says which clock is showing 9. If you watch this traffic light here, when I click 9, it turns green, and now it's asking which clock is showing 5. When I click 5, now it's green, and it will turn red. Okay. Um, you saw the home button. This, this button here will pause the game. Control sound here. I have it currently off. Let's go ahead and recycle the game, because it's, the traffic was fixing them back up off the screen. So, the object of the game is to keep traffic flowing, and um, there's three ways that the game ends. The game can end if there's a collision, and that would happen if you let two of the lights green or you uh, let the traffic go too early before the other traffic cleared the intersection. So if you have a collision, the game will end. If traffic backs up off the screen, here, 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 or here. And as you can see here, well, these are fixing back up off the screen, so let me go ahead and restart the game. Now, you can also lose... Uh, the game. The game will also end when you lose all five of your lives, and the lives are represented with the hearts here. So, if the way you lose a life is if you answer to it, click on the wrong clock, and I'll go ahead and do that and show you how you, one of these lives will go away. It says, which clock is showing 11? This clock is showing 11. Let's go ahead and click this clock, which is showing 6. You notice that one of my lives went away, and it was red, versus if I click the correct one, it's green showing up there. So that's how you how you control the traffic lights. Let's go ahead and turn this off. This one's backing up here. So let me go ahead and answer the question here. I just want to know what clock is showing 10 o'clock. Now it's asking 10 o'clock again. It's over here now. Let's, let's turn this. This one is backing up. I need to get this one pretty quick. Nine. And you can do these lights anytime. It'll stop the traffic. And this one's asking for 12. Let's go ahead and let that one go. And now it's asking for 1 o'clock. So that's how you play. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll uh, show you how the game ends. Actually, um, let me go ahead. Uh, I could either let the traffic back up off the screen, which is fixing to do, or I can run out of lives. Let's go ahead and run out of lives real quick. Uh, so it's asking which clock is 12 o'clock. Click the wrong one. Click it again. There goes another life. Click this one. Still wrong. And actually, it looks like traffic's about ready to back up off screen, and we'll go ahead and let that happen. And uh, as soon as it does, the game will end. You'll be able to submit your high score. Oh, it looks like it's fixing to go right here. We'll see. There it is. Okay. So once the game ends, and you can go ahead and enter your score here. Your, you actually enter your handle there. Let's go ahead and close it here or there. Let's go ahead and close it. And go back to the main menu, and you can choose to play again. Well, we also have a advanced version, so when you get uh, get through playing this and are ready for a little bit more of a challenge, the advanced version has uh, a little bit more advanced questions. It'll ask questions such as uh, click on the clock that's uh, 
two hours after 8 o'clock, which would be 10 o'clock. So it involves telling time, and it also involves uh, a little bit of uh, elapsed time knowledge. So um, that's how you play the game. Uh, I hope you've uh, en enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, helped you some, and I appreciate you watching.